The beginning of the end for Margaret Thatcher came in 1990 with the poll tax. Decades later, David Cameron made a gamble over Brexit and lost, causing an earthquake that shook the political landscape for Theresa May too. But it's not policy that has brought Boris Johnson's premiership to its lowest point. It is questions of integrity and honesty causing anger from the public and MPs too. Even some of these MPs, the 2019 Tory intake, many who won over lifelong Labour voters thanks in part to Boris Johnson's popularity. We must repay the trust of the electorate, that's what we're going to do. But after Partygate damaged that trust, yesterday 20 of them were plotting how to remove him. The 2019 entry to the Conservative Party, obviously that's almost a third of the party. They are pivotal um, and if they're moving against the Prime Minister, it's very bad news for the Prime Minister indeed. My, my letter's already in and I'm not uh, seeing anything that'll make me want to take it back, back out. Many thought there could be enough for a no confidence vote in Johnson today, but it was another letter from Christian Wakeford defecting to the Labour Party that brought out a clamour of support for the PM. Nothing unites the backbenchers more than somebody um, crossing the floor. It, we are the Conservative Party. We are elected because of Boris Johnson. One claimed MPs had taken back their calls for a no-confidence vote. Do you know for a fact that people have withdrawn letters? That's what people are telling me. That's why I'm you know, hearing and from why? other colleagues. What are they saying? Because well, what they've seen today is that Christian Wakeford has gone out and done Labour's dirty work for them, and they don't want to be associated with someone who, when we hit the, see the fire sign of trouble, gets weak kneed and runs over to the opposition. Certainly the mood was less febrile among Tories tonight. One cabinet minister said to me today that they think Christian Wakeford's decision has actually brought unity in the Conservative Party. And certainly some of the 2019 rebels are really upset that he chose to cross the floor. But the ones I've spoken to tonight tell me that they have not withdrawn their letters and that they still want the Prime Minister to go. They're hearing anger from the party's grassroots, like these councillors in Stamford in the East Midlands. People don't trust them anymore, and, and the trust is not just about Boris, it's about the Conservative Party as well. I don't think he'd be the leader no. at the next election at all, because I think he's lost faith. Everybody's lost faith in him. I think we should perhaps give him the benefit of the doubt, and let's see what he can do going forward. The Prime Minister will be hoping for the benefit of the doubt when Sue Gray completes her report into Downing Street gatherings. But his MPs may feel differently. Anoush Gristana, News at 10.